See, I figured I'd do this intro in my car real quick while I'm doing some Instacart. Uh, so you see, I'm Car Ryan, okay? Car Ryan, everything looks totally different, right? It looks like a whole new thing, right? When in reality, I'm just sitting in my car. Now, I can relate that to the news media and the way they bring up inflation because there's little tweaks that make it seem like a big difference. But in actuality, you just switch up a couple words and you get a whole new way of viewing the media. Anyways, let's get into it. If you like the video, just hit the subscribe button. Now, now that we got the retard fat jokes out of the way, let's get into something called inflation. And why the corporations who run the fucking media want you LARPing on that like every piece of meat that a dog can get. But anyways, so for, I'm pretty sure everyone's seen all the, all the news media and everyone talking about inflation like brand new inflation number. Great month. Inflation has been higher than expected. And his team don't use it anymore, but it's a straight up lie when Biden says inflation was 9% when he. Now you may say, well, Ryan, what about inflation? Inflation is obviously being talked about from the left and the right. One side has to be right, right? Well, to that I say, why is inflation a problem? Now, the answer people typically give will be, well, because well, inflation makes things unaffordable. Okay, so why are we debating unaffordability? Because my talking points say so. And it's basically just that, okay? What, why we're debating inflation is because what's happening is the media in this giant sphere, okay, this circle we have known as the economy, okay? There's a bunch of factors coming into play on why things aren't affordable. For example, have your, raises, have your, raises, have your wages risen? The answer is probably no, right? And then, again, I've shot on California on my channel. I've actually told my history with the state of California on this channel. Uh, if you want to look down, I'll probably have a video on it. It's, uh, uh, whatever. But, so, my hatred for the state of California, it honestly runs deep, okay? And I'm telling you, California raising wages was actually a good thing. Because, let me explain why. The reporting was that prices are up by like 80 cents. It double doubles up by 80 cents. Okay, do you know what happened? California went from $7.50 an hour to $2, $20 an hour for fast food. So you're making $2.50 an hour more, and I'm assuming you're not just working one hour. I'm assuming you're working like 40 hours. So if we do the difference, which is A, $2.50, which is again, if you want to make even an even number, say three times per hour what the costs are going up. You see why? You see why I hate the corporate press now? Do you see why I hate these fucking retards as someone who's made videos titling their name Retard Reacts because I'm fucking autistic? You see why I hate the corporate press? They fuck you. They fuck you by choosing the narrative. Now, if, and again, if they were honestly reporting to benefit you, they the reporting would be inflation being high is a factor in what in why things are becoming less affordable but notice how they frame the debate around inflation and not things being more unaffordable for the average american right it, like i said in the intro it's that little that little word switch right it's that little way of how you word things okay that would be like if I said, The world's gonna end! Oh no! World destruction! Baby! World War III! And then, and then when they go, well, why do you think the world's gonna end? Well, because, well, because the planet's getting hotter. It's like, okay, yeah, the real argument is climate change, or the, not even the, that's not even the argument. That's like a, again, a part of the solution. The problem is, the temperatures are getting hotter, right? Things are getting hotter. The world is getting hotter right? Climate change is a potential solution, like the way they use inflation, like the way they use climate change as a debate as a debate term, right? When the debate should be around why things are getting warmer, right? Just like how with inflation, the, the, the inflation debate, it needs to be around why things are more unaffordable to the average American, okay? Because I guarantee you, if your wages were outpacing inflation, 
inflation wouldn't be a problem because inflation is a symptom of the problem, not the problem. You, you understand what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, if I were to give an example like Steven Crowder would about COVID, myocarditis is the problem. Of the, the vaccines are a solution to that. Ah, you see, references people like in MAGA. Ah, I see, I got you there. But anyways, yeah, again, that is why, that is the problem, okay? If inflation was a problem, like, if inflation was the end-all, be-all, just, just raise your wages to match it. But it's not the numbers, it's not the percentage of inflation. It's the unaffordability of products, of items, of homes, of property, of rental costs, of feeding your family, of getting food on the table, of water, of electricity, of everything else. But we're debating a number on a screen. Yeah, okay, that's a great way to look at it. The, you're definitely not fucking the average American so hard up the ass would make a Moby huge blush, okay? That's definitely not what's going on here. They're definitely not you know, because the corporate press is so honest, they definitely would not slightly tweak words to manipulate your emotions and to manipulate your feelings. That's definitely not what they would do. I mean, I can't even keep up with that grift, okay? That's what the fuck they're doing. That is exactly what they're doing. That's exactly how they're screwing you. I swear to God, I can't even be sarcastic. These people suck. It's why I laughed for seven minutes straight when I heard Kid Rock call it a Rolling Stone journalist. The N-word and waved a gun around. Because these people suck, okay? I would defend Kid Rock calling EDP-445 a alleged pedophile, which, by the way, he sent shit pics to a 13-year-old, okay? Uh, allegedly. I say allegedly simply because the investigation was botched by the people who did the operation. But, that being said, I would say if Kid Rock did that to EDP... I would give him a thumbs up too and die laughing because these people are fucking evil. They want to screw you. They are backed by the sponsors and advertisers. That is who they're beholden to. Not you. You are not who they're beholden to. As a matter of fact, they have disdain for you. They hate you. They do not like you. Murdoch journalists, right wing, left wing, Whatever bullshit you want to say, okay? And again, this is why I'd say I'm a political Ryan, okay? I, that's what I am. You ask me, Ryan, what's your political ideology? I'm a political Ryan, okay? I look at the facts and I make my details and I make my assessment based on the way I view the reporting. That's what I do, okay? It's why you'll say, well, Ryan, you're, you're, a, you're a socialist. You support Medicare. Yeah, okay, I also support people owning guns and laxing out gun laws and all these other things and allowing workers to protect themselves with firearms, allowing workers to constitutionally carry on the job site, allowing that to be a unconstitutional offense by corporations to ban that unless if, like, unless if the person who's hired has a physical, um, is, has a violent, or has it, a criminal record of physical aggressiveness, right? So, like, assault, battery, physical domestic violence, rape, uh, robbery, armed robbery, like, anything physical, and what I mean by robbery, I don't mean hacking into a bank account. I mean going into a store and holding it up like, hey, give me the fucking money, huh? That's basically what I'm talking about, right? And again, like, because these people have such massive disdain for you. It's literally why I made this channel, okay? I, I really can't bring that up enough. You're being fucked by narratives, okay? The people who drive the narratives, again, the people on the right say, oh, well, we, we ain't Fox News, Jackie Carpet. Yeah, okay, do you know what you also say? Every fucking Fox News trope. And again, newspapers are a dying business. So why do they keep owning newspapers? Because they control the way you think. If they can control the frame of debate, they can control the narrative. If they can get you arguing about inflation rather than a solution for unaffordability, they benefit. 
they, their, the corporations that back them, the pharma, the big pharmaceutical companies that conservatives rant and rave about, back them, NBC specifically, big banks, who, by the way, conservatives say are deplatforming people, are backed by CNN, but no, no, not backed by CNN, rather, CNN is backed by them, okay, they're beholden to them, Bank of America, JP Morgan, CIT, uh, Chime Bank, right, and then you have Fox News, who are funded by big fossil fuel companies, big corporations, private insurance, which also unironically funds NBC, is NBC now right wing? No, because the real frame of how we should look at politics is policy that benefits you or, boli- or policy that fucks you. It is literally just that simple. Fuck right wing, fuck left wing, okay? These are all bullshit tropes, okay? Again, just common sense would have, would prevail. It's why I openly i joke about, but I'm so dead serious. It's why I'm a people's party shill. It's why I shill for an independent party that wants to fucking help you. <laughs> like, it is that simple. Nick, when is Nick Barana on NBC? When is that? Never. Why? Because he is not a corporate hack. Okay? He's not funded by big corporations. As a matter of fact, none of his funding is by big corporations. It's why I support people like AOC, not because her belief system, not because of anything else, because she's not fucking corrupt. Ron DeSantis, however, is funded by Coke, by the Koch brothers, who in turn fund like Fox News and shit, like the bullshit fucking Fox News narratives, okay? Who, uh, to, like, in the gas crisis scare, when as a matter of fact, you know why gas is rising? Because we're in a transitionary period. Just like how before we drilled for oil, what do we have? We had what? Candles, okay? We had candles. We had wax. We had flint and steel. Gas came along, we went through a transitionary period, and then in the 1930s and 40s, shit started booming, right? We're in that transitionary period right now. Things are, like, I, 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 again, like, people, people think there's, like, this weird conspiracy regarding the government, Right? Again, they want to say, well, the government just sits on their ass and fucks us. What do you think these cunts do? What do you think these big bitches do? These fucking whiny schlepazoids, they sit on their ass and fuck you. <laughs> the, like, the same criticism the right is giving the government, you should be given to the fucking media companies who fucking spread corporate bullshit narratives. It is that simple. As a matter of fact, go on CNN, if anyone go on CNN and say, hey, CNN, say five things bad about J.P. Morgan Chase and Bank of America, go. They won't do it, because those are their backers, those are their sponsors, that, who's, that's, that is who they're supposed to shill for, not you. They're not supposed to shill for you. They're supposed to hate you. Why? Because they're funded hundreds of millions of dollars, if not billions of dollars, by big banks go into the pockets of what? CNN. Do you think there's not an inherent bias against you if hundreds of millions of dollars, if not billions of dollars, and then these same fuckheads, these same cunt rags who fucking bitch about you, who tell you, oh, racism, the average American, yeah, the average American who's just struggling to fucking survive, (laughs) you, you need to do better, even though I get paid millions of dollars a year to be on this network to spout corporate talking points. I don't think it's any more, like, significant than that, okay? That is in their entire logic, is you, the average American who's fucking struggling, needs to do, needs to what? Do better, even though I get paid millions of dollars to sit on a fucking news station while I show for corporations that also fuck the average American. It's just that simple, okay? So, if you see this video, and again, I hope you do, drop the like button, because I actually want to help people. I'm actually... I actually want to make America great again, folks. I want to make America great again by saying fuck you to these corporations. Anyways, I'm Audi. Peace.